Gaelic Hello and Valier of Gaelic. Welcome to Park of Gael Limerick, the Gaelic Grounds in this road Limerick today on Sunday the 28th of August, the last Sunday in August for the County Senior Football Final between Galbally and Father Casey's Abbey Field. We're just taking a few pictures now of the Galbally team and lining out for the photograph now. And quite a number of officials and the players and subs are having their photograph taken. We're just after seeing the end of the minor final, A final, between Glyn and Nabirshik, which finished up with Nabirshik 1 9, Glyn 1 7. It was quite an interesting contest in the second half, but um, Nabirshik were probably the better team. The Abbeyfield team now are just after coming out onto the pitch and getting a big reception, so Abbeyfield have a very strong support here today. It's a fine, bright, breezy day, but quite a wind blown from the Ennis Road side straight in towards the city goals. And the Galbally players now have broken up and they're kicking the ball around. The Galbally team lines out in goals, John Scully, right fullback Tom Quinlan, fullback John Dunn, and left fullback Joe Crew. Right half back John Kiley, centre back Colin Finnan, and left half back Kieran Begley. Centre of the field is Patrick Ryan and Mike McGrath. Right half forward Timmy Cummins, centre forward Aidan Carew, and left half forward Fergal Finnan. Right full forward Danny Farrell, full forward Seamus Morrissey, and left full forward John Cummins. Now the Abbey Field team lines out in goals Joe McMahon, right full Jim Collins, full back Derry Quirk. Left full back, Gerard O'Connor. The half back line on the right, Liam Quirk. Center back, Shane McAuliffe. And left half back, Joe Broderick. Jim O'Donnell and Richard Houlihan, center field. Number 10, Liam O'Connor, right half forward. Center forward, Tom Fitzgerald. And number 12, Mirish McElligot, left half forward. The full forward line, Padre O'Donnell on the right, Chris McGill, full forward, and John Colbert, top of the left. Now, um, we just might have a word with we have Mike Quish here with us up on the Crow's Nest. We're very high up over the pitch in the Gaelic grounds. We have a fantastic view of the field. But just before the game starts and they line up, we're delighted to have Mike Quish with us here. And Mike might say a few words what he hopes for. And I was talking to him there earlier on. He was reminiscing. He'd love to be out on the pitch, of course, today. So, Mike, what do you think now of the county final before we start? Um, it's a great occasion for Galbally and, and it's a bit nostalgic for me as you said Tim, I wish I could be down there but that's, that's life as they say. Um, Galbally are looking very sharp and fit, um, I, think the key, I think the key to the match, the winning I think will be Tim Cummins and Aidan Carew and possibly our full back line because with the wind the way it is there will be a lot of pressure on the full back line I think when, when we're playing um, against the wind. Right. So I, I, I think we'll, we'll do well, particularly if Timmy Cummins and Aidan Carew. Yeah, you're, you think that the experienced players, you're dependent on the experienced players to show, to, to give uh, do the stuff today, like, you know, to show the way to the younger players, like there's four or five younger players and, and having that much experience of playing at this level. But a good lot of the Galbally team have played at the county, like you played with some of them. Yeah, so ab absolutely, and I'm very, uh, very impressed just watching them jogging up and kicking the ball around. They look very sharp, but I have played with most of this team, yeah. except uh, Colum, uh, Ke Fergal Finnan and, 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 and young Ryan. Patrick Ryan. Patrick Ryan. Centre field, yeah. You but were telling me you hadn't seen Patrick play yet. But like certainly, him. if I was playing out there today and Timmy Cummins being as good as he is and sharp, I'd be bringing into the game a lot. Right. Because he's the key to it, really. I mean, certainly, they should be playing off of him, giving him passes. He'd be running off for passes. So I really think Timmy, and of course, John inside in the corner is a very good footballer as well. Right. So, I mean, they're great lads. It's great to be here. That's uh, great. And it's great for Galbally football. We're delighted as well. We wish them all the best just before the match starts. But it's a great thing for Galbally football. We were a small bit worried, you know, that football was inclined to take the backstage a bit in Galbally lately. Like, but this is bound to have influence on the young, younger people Absolutely. like are coming up. At minor level in that. Yeah, it's a fabulous it's fabulous for the village of Galbally, for all those loyal spectators that followed when I was playing down through the years, the likes of Padre Cushion and Wilsey and all those boys, they were great to go to matches. And I, and I hope we can get a result today and they'll enjoy it. Very good. And sure if not, they're here in the final and I hope they enjoy themselves and that's I, it. Yeah. I, I only wish I was down there. Well, that's it. Thank
small bit of a mix up there with the musical tape. I think the Ranavine didn't seem to come up when they switched it on. Uh, the referee for today's game is Willie Mahoney from Ola. I think they're going to step a fast one in. For Charles to Jamie Morrissey, just broken across by Johnny Cummins. The ball is Willie Mahoney gives a free out. There's touch and go there whether Galbraith could have got a penalty or not. Quick one taken out, out to number eight, Jim O'Donnell. He kicks it to number seven. Joe Braddock, who kicks a left leg one on to number nine, Richard Houlihan. The ball is bro well broken down there by Aidan Carroll. Comes to Timmy Cummins. Timmy has it again, about just outside the 45 metre. Hits a high one in. And walks over the bar. Boxed over by Danny Farrell. Danny was looking to get away with the square ball there, but you should always take your chance. Danny's gone down injured now, just outside in front of the goals after that. So Galbally lead now by two points to one. About eight, eight or nine minutes gone. That was a lovely ball in by Tim Cummins and a lovely pint by Danny Farrell. So Danny Farrell is down injured and uh, Now, Mike, what do you think at this stage now? We're, on, we're about 10 minutes gone into the first half, and Galbraith playing with a strong breeze. What do you, what do you think? Um, so far, Galbraith playing very well. Um, I'm not that worried about Abbey Field at the moment. They don't seem to be playing that well against the wind. So I, I, I think it all goes well for Galbraith. It, it seems that Timmy Cummins is the, is, is, is the man to pick off the scores. Right. So if they can get a few more up, maybe, I think they'll certainly, if they get three or four points lead at half time, I think right. they'll, they'll hold these guys. They don't look anything spectacular they're getting so far. Good. Thanks very much, Mike. Now I feel kick the ball up and it's blown out over the sideline and back there on, on the 70 meter, 60 meter line back. And um, Kieran Bigley kicks it up along the wing again. Breaks off of Johnny Cummins' head there. He's picked up by Patrick Ryan who loses it to the Abbey field man. Oh, uh, he overcarries the ball there. He was well tackled by Johnny Cummins and Patrick Ryan. A quick ball into Timmy Cummins, again on the 45 metre line. Timmy sets himself, lobs it in. The ball breaks out, it just slips out there. But Aidan Carew slipped, it was coming out. It breaks out to number three, Derry Quirk, who boxes it out to the side to the other corner back, Jim Collins. He kicks it out towards the centre of the field. Well played there by Kieran Begley, put it, boxed it in into Mike McGrath, right in the centre. Mike hicks a very high kick, put his veering towards the left and just wide on the left hand side of the post. I see Timmy Cummins there saying to Mike McGrath maybe to leave the ball into him. I think what Mike Quish is saying there, if they, if they play Timmy Cummins, and they, uh, especially now in this first half, like they should be opening up the play there on the forwards and laying it on to Timmy Cummins because Timmy gets a chance, he'll, he'll put it between the posts. The Abbey Field goalkeeper now, Joe McMahon, taking the kick out from the square into a strong breeze. It's veering out to this side, coming towards the sideline. Timmy Cummins stands back from and lets it roll out over the sideline, just outside the 45 metre line. Uh, gives it to Reckons the ball has gone, has gone soft at this stage. Calling for a new ball now. It's thrown in, thrown in another. Actually, the sideline, and we look down in here, is, is quite wet, so the pitch could be quite heavy out there under the stand. Timmy was raising a lot of water as he runs along. Kicking it out just under 45 metres. A huge high ball right in, dropping in, inside, and it falls down, but it's grabbed by the number four from Abbey Field, Gerard O'Connor, who clears it out. Or is actually fouled and the free out. The goalkeeper is going to take the free. Kicked out now, Robin out there in the center. It's grabbed again by Mike McGrath, who boots a quick one in. Hopping up at number three, full back Derry Quick, grabs it, hits it out towards the side. He fists it on, but well intercepted there by Kieran Begley. Kieran runs forward with it and is foul. Kieran kicks kick, a quick one into Shami Morrissey. Shami hits a high ball and straight over the bear. That was a great point there by Shami Morrissey. I was a small bit worried Shami didn't seem to be getting the break of the ball inside or out of the square, but he came out to about the 30 yard and a fast free taken by Ke Kieran Begley, who did tremendous work there. Great point for Galbley now. Now the score is three points to one. 
Galbi in front. Abbey field goalkeeper again, Joe McMahon. Decides to kick it more to the other side this time. Lobbing out there in the centre. The ball breaks down. Kicked by Mike McGrath along the ground. Danny Farrell races out for it. Daddy side kicks it in, but it's in grabbed by the Abbey field player there who hits it out to number four, Gerard O'Connor. Out to this side. Number 10 put down his, his hand and um, hits the first one up the wing. Number eight, Jim O'Donnell goes solo run, followed by John Kiley. And number 11, Fitz Patrick, blocked down by Tom Quinlan, a great interception there by Tom Quinlan. The ball breaks and Tom draws a boot on the ball, but Willie Mahoney says he fouled the ball. I thought the Galbley backs now were under severe pressure there, but they played quite well and closed down the Abbey Field forwards quite well. I thought we, Abbey Field were busting forward there, and the Galbley backs stood up and kept close to their men and put, harassed them really well. The free now for Abbey Field, taken by number 13, Padraig O'Donnell. Bit out to the left, about 30 yards out. Veers it in, and it veers off the, off the left post again and out wide. Big cheer again now from the Galbley supporters with that ball going wide for Abbey Field. So the score remains three points to one. And about uh, less than a quarter of an hour about gone at this stage. About 12 minutes gone. John Scully takes a kick out now down the centre. Runs on there. The ball breaks off. Fergal Finnan goes down and misses it. Goes down on it again. Ball breaks away from him. Failed to pick it up there. A free there on number 11, Tom Fitz, the centre forward. He takes a quick one in towards the square. The ball caught inside. And well intercepted. They had a great interception there by Mike McGrath. Looked a certain goal for Abbey Field. But Mike just happened to be in the right place at the right time. The Abbey Field and trying to take fast fees and, and run into so Galway will have to really to stick with their forwards and trying to throw the ball around, move very fast. The ball passed out, grabbed by John Kiley. John is heavily fouled there, pulled and dragged by number 10 from Abbey Field, Liam O'Connor. So free for about 30 yards out from Galway now, right on the sideline at his side. John kicks it down the middle, it breaks there. Timmy. Timmy Cummins pushed over there and falls. A free to Timmy Cummins now. Right in the centre of the field. He takes it himself. Kicks it left-footed across the middle. Going towards Johnny. Johnny grabs it there. It's down. Johnny gets up, hops it, turns the other side with his left leg. The ball spins in towards Shami Morrissey. Shami has it about 35 yards out. Box it across. Fist pass over to Fergal Finn. And Fergal in the car running towards the goals. Fergal hits a bullet of a shot. A great ball by Fergal Finn. Brilliant. No, oh, Mike, what do you think of that? Absolutely fantastic. Great move. Great pass from Jamie Morrissey. That was a fantastic goal. Yeah. Uh, a great pass out from Jamie. I thought he'd lost the momentum because Timmy was losing the left, but fabulous yeah. pass. Super goal. Yeah. That's Just a great like tonic for Galbley now. They lead 1 3 to 1 point. 5 points of a lead now at this stage, about a quarter of an hour gone. But for a young player, that was a fantastic taking goal. He just put down his head, ran at the goals, and hit it full belt into the corner of the net. Ball kicked out now over on the far side, a kind of a scrum there, and the referee William Mahoney gives a free to Abbey Field. Gabriel wanted to watch the fest. Uh, the ball is caught there by number 12. He's given a free, takes a quick one. In towards the fuel forward, Chris McGill. John, ball, John, John Dunn fouls him there, probably good distance out now, out around the 45 metre line. The ball is going to be taken off the ground. The centre forward, Tom Fitzgerald, this time is going to take the free. The way he's lined up, he'll probably kick it with his left leg. But the Gal Galbi have been performing very well now so far. I see Timmy Cummins moving up there to mark up one of the loose Abbey Fieldmen. Fitzgerald having a good look at the goals now. Stands about 10 yards back from the ball, coming in from the side at it. It's out on the right-hand side as he looks at it. Good free, very good point this time by Fitzgerald. A centre forward. Incidentally, Tom Fitzgerald, as far as I know, is a nephew of the Sergeant Fat Fitzgerald, who played with Galbley way back in when they won the Juno County and went to the senior final. Now John Scully kicks it from the 20-metre line out, right out onto the centre. The ball is breaking there again. Cut by falls off of Aidan Carew's hands. Cut by 
number six, who hits it out to this side. Number 10, Liam O'Connor, foul there. It's quite a handful, Liam O'Connor, here, but fair, quite a good footballer on the left half forward position here. But John Kiley is quite, uh, keeping quite close and giving him very little leeway. Free to have field now by number seven, Joe Bradrick. Left footed, lobbing right in the centre there. Caught by Fergal Finn a brilliant field there by Fergal Finn and he boots it down towards the left side. Down towards the, his brother Fergal, who's way out there now at that side, kicks it low to Timmy Cummins. Out in the centre of the field now, Timmy goes solo run, coming across the middle. Timmy get four Abbey field men after him at this stage. And Timmy going clean through. Sets himself now around 30 yards out. Huge point from Timmy Cummins. Brilliant football from Timmy Cummins. I think, Mike, that's the stuff you were, call, you were talking about before the match. Absolutely fantastic. He searched for, he went deep for the ball and took it on himself. No one to pass to and took his point beautifully under pressure. Great excellent. play by Tim. That was an excellent point there by Tim Cummins. I see the Abbey Field selectors down here in front of us now beginning to scratch you know what they're going to do to do something about trying to contain Timmy Cummins. Goalie kicks it out, a high one this time. Robin again, a bra in the middle, broken down, grabbed by the Abbey Field player. Then he fist pass it on, hit up the middle. The ball is coming to us. Grabbed by Johnny Dunn there. Johnny fists it back to Gerald Carew, kicks the left and up to his brother Aiden. Aiden out in the center, kicks the high ball in. The hard ball hops over to Jamie Morrison, the full back. Derry quick, the goalie box out, box it out to. De Full back there, he quick. He fist passes it out towards the sideline. The ball out now, very near the sideline. Picked up by the Abbey Field player there. Going up on the, on, the, on the sideline there and trying to kick the ball very fast. Number 12, Murish McGilligat. The referee is actually given a free there to Abbey Field. So the Abbey Field. Uh, player is down, he's tying his lace or something. He's just to hold up in the play now at the moment. I see Johnny Highland in at the far side with the bottle there, given to Kieran Begley and Gerald Carew, I think at this stage. Galbraith performing quite well now so far. So the score is 1-4 to 2 pints. That's 7 pints to 2, a 5 pint lead. He kicks it a low one up the middle. Grabbed in there in the centre and the free against no, number 13 there, Paddy O'Donnell. Ball is out to Fitzgerald now, centre forward. He's kicking it left legged. A very good point there by Murish, uh, Tom Fitzgerald, the centre forward, who seems to be their main scorer. So the gallery will have to stay very tight to him. He got the last score as well from a free. So it's three points now to 1 4. Four points in it. Transcully kicks it out, landing again in the centre field. The ball is breaking there. Galbally players are trying to drop the ball a small bit there, not to really catch it into them and get control of it. Free down to Galbally there. Hayden Carew is fouled. Colin Finnan. A quick one in by Kieran Begley, who kicks it out over the sideline on the far side. The Abbey Field corner forward um, has moved out now and is, they're just playing, they're trying to bring out the play and open it up on the inside. The ball comes across the centre onto O'Donnell, number eight, who charges into John Kiley, who should have been a free out. Caught inside by. A free there for, uh, against number 14. I thought actually Tom Quinlan tackled him fairly fair there. McGill just fell. But the ball was kind of going from, but it's a free now for, for Galbally out about. The referee is calling out John Kiley there, he's taking his name. Patrick O'Donnell, number 13, take the free now from Abbey Field for this side. He has missed two or three of them, but this one is quite. It's inside the 13 metre line. He kicks it across the goals. So it's four points now for Abbey Field, who are after coming back in the last five or six minutes. Abbey Field are after taking on two or three points and brought the Galbraith lead down to a goal.
There's a switch in the gallery team. I didn't see exactly what's after happening there. Fergus Finnan, I think, is gone. No, it's the ball coming here towards the sideline now. Out over the sideline. Sideline ball to Galbley. That's Ferg Fergal. Fergal Finn is at the field. Fergal Finn has gone centre forward, don't you know, we think. The ball well fielded there by the back inside for Abbey Field. Free from the 20 metre line now. To be taken by Derry Quick, to Quirk, their full back. Lob and down again, it's broken there again, the break of the ball. Two or three of the Galbley players that time win for the ball when one of them would have done. And kicked it over the bear there by Padraig O'Donnell. So there's only two points in it now at this stage. Every field have come into the game in a big way in the last five or six minutes. Aidan Carew is after getting his injured. I see Magella Costin in there. Aidan is after getting the ball up. He's bending his, his back there. I think Galbraith, there's, there's too many him actually going up for the ball. When they want to, a couple of them should stand back from it. Well caught there by number eight, Jim O'Donnell in the centre field. Holds onto the ball a good lot. Hits it back to number seven, Roderick, who kicks it across. The ball hops there. Grabbed by Jer Carew. Great, kick, great grab by Jack Rowe. Hits a huge high ball up now, up towards the full forward line. The ball breaks there. Jamie Morrissey held back there. Free for Galbraith now, about 30 yards out. Slightly on the left-hand side of the goals. With a strong breeze in it. Johnny Cummins is putting it down to take it. Galbraith would need to get this free now again to bring, build up a bit of a lead before half-time. Johnny sets himself now. About 30 yards out, a bit to the left. Runs up to it, kicks it all, just just goes over the bar. Nice point by Johnny Cummins there. So the score is now 1 5 to 5 points. Galbraith leading by a goal. Kicked out by the goalie, a high one. Coming down again in the centre of the field. Broken out, Johnny Cummins. Gets it. Knocked out of his hand and the ball goes out over the sideline, but the Willie Mahoney gives a free to other cases. Kicked off the hand up towards the gimmick. Broken down there by numbers. Hit across the middle. There yeah, we feel him walking the ball up along the right wing there. The ball held there by Chris. I think Willie Mahoney was a bit hard there on the Galbley players. Like, I mean, they just kept around McGill. McGill thought he overplayed the ball, actually. But he was given a free about 15 yards in from the sideline on the far side, just inside, about 12 yards out from the goals. Tom Fitzgerald, now the centre forward, would kick him from that side with the left leg. But this is quite a hard one to put over with the wind blowing against him and coming across the go straight out from the goals. Coming up to it now. Kicks it across. Very good point there by Fitzgerald. So the, the lead is back down to a goal again. Now, Mike, what do you think at this stage? A worrying feature, Tim, is, is uh, Abbey Field are hitting McGill very regularly. They're playing every single ball in him. He's winning them, he's scoring, he's been fouled. We'd want to try and do the opposite with Timmy Cummins because we have the wind. Right. And I, I'd worry for the second half because McGill looks very sharp, you know. Right. And they're playing him all the time. John Scully kicks the ball out now. Cut by Kieran Begley. Kieran kicks it across to this side. A good ball towards Timmy Cummins. Just slips through his hand, but Timmy gathers it again. Gone on us all around again. But hits it into Patrick Ryan. Patrick hits it back to Timmy. Timmy in front of the goals now. Kicks a lovely pint again by Tim Cummins. Brilliant play again that time, Mike. Oh, Tim, you see what I mean. Keep the ball to Timmy Cummins. Right, Within reason, he'll, he'll get the scores for us. Right. Excellent score. So now it's, it's six points to one six. Lead gone back up to a goal again. Kicked out by the goalie. Quite a good kick against the breeze. 
falling down in the centre of the field. We don't seem to be getting a lot of the breaks there now from these falling balls in the centre of the field. <laughs> Drive quickly by Johnny Cummins. Johnny kicks a high one himself. And this time it's just gone to the right and wide. Johnny thought there about passing it to Timmy, but he said he'd have a go himself and just went slightly to the right and wide that time. About three, two or three minutes left now in the first half, about, about three minutes approximately. Out there again, beaten down by Mike McGrath. Timmy has it again, going across the centre, solo running across, trying to draw some of the players. Late, late tackle there on Timmy Cummins in the free about 25 yards out. Just to the right of the goals again. Johnny Cummins has a quite scorable free now, just outside the 13 metre line, about 14 or 15 yards out from the goal. It's a bit to the left, but the wind behind him, like, and if he gets well under this, Johnny has gone well out to it now, sighting it onto the goals. Coming up to it now. Johnny just taps it over the bar. Very good pint again by John Cummins. So that makes it 1-7 to 6 pints. 10 pints to 6, the 4 pint lead again restored by Galbley. All right. Uh, we feel, I think, of warming up his up now, running on the sideline. Kicked out there, not forward by Fergal Finney. Johnny gets it in the centre, hits it into Mike McGrath. Mike McGrath going through, hits it across to Timmy Cummins, and Timmy, another pint for Galway, great pint by Tim Cummins. But the Abbey Field player being booked there, number two. Jim Collins having his name taken there for a late tackle, and Tim Cummins as he kicked the ball over the bar. Abbey Field seem to have more minters up and down the sideline. I, I see five or six of them here. And nearly inside playing with the players at this stage. 1 8, 11 pints to 6 now. 5 pint lead again by Galbley. Just coming up a few minutes now to half time, depending on how much overtime Willie or Mahoney plays. Brawl broken down there again. Grabbed by the Abbey Field player, who hits it across to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald playing very good at centre forward. Tom Quinn is small bit late coming in there, the ball falls from the Abbey Field Don't player. I'm lucky to get a free there, but I think he uh, kicks a fast one up the wing again. Johnny Dunn's McGill is running across, moves the ball across to number 12. He's trying to put inside. He hits it out to number 10. And back out to number 9. Block down there. The ball breaks down there. Kicked out by Galbley, pulled out by Mike McGrath. Number 10, O'Connor coming out, gets it. Out on the 20, blocked down again, into Mike McGrath's hand. Mike gets it there, kicks a huge high ball down the field now. Running out towards Fergal Finnan coming across for it. Fergal has it. Was it? Fergal kicks it left leg right across the field towards Jamie Morrissey and Johnny Cummins. Timmy Cummins kicks it in across to Danny, Danny in towards the farmer. Danny Farrell going towards it now. Then he picks it up, right on the corner flag. Hits it out towards Timmy Cummins. Timmy has it again. Timmy kicks it across the centre. Off of Johnny, over towards Jamie Morrissey coming in. And uh, is booted out by number seven there. Quite lucky there for... Patrick trying to stay in with his man there. He hits it on towards Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald is back out the centre now. Fergal Finney, stay with him. Stay, stay with him, Fergal. Well played there by hard luck by Gerard Carew. The ball broke badly for him. Kicked in towards the centre, number 12. With the great save there by Kieran Begley. Brilliant save by Kieran Begley there. Kicks a fast one up towards the, the ball breaks there. Fergal Finnan has it out in the centre. Kicks it low in towards Johnny Cummins. Johnny is out to it. Johnny knocked out on top of his head. No free there. Sideline ball for Galbley now. Fergal Finnan has it. Kicks a quick one in towards Johnny Cummins. Johnny about 35 yards out. Johnny lobs it in towards the goals. Over the bar, great point from Johnny Cummins. Brilliant point from Johnny. Galbley have really come back into it again now in the last five minutes, Mike. Galbley are playing great football, Tim. If they can keep this up for the, in the second half, they're playing great football. They're by far the better team on the field and playing very intelligent football. Right. Great score from Johnny. I think this is the best lead they had now. There's one nine to six points. They have a six point lead now, and uh, if they can take that into the dressing room with them. 
practically on half time now. Out in the centre of the field, the ball breaks there again. Grabbed by Patrick Ryan. Patrick falls, hops it, hits it back to Aidan Crew, who stabs it out towards Johnny Cummins. Johnny's playing very well now out on the Jamie Morrissey out to Jamie playing some full forward. Goes outside his man, turns him, hits it back in towards Timmy Cummins. Timmy has it again, way out on the sideline. It's great point again by Timmy Cummins. Brilliant football now from Galbley. This is super stuff. I'd be feeling no answer to Timmy Cummins. I just literally can't do anything with him. I just whistle goes now for half time. Huge cheer now from the Galbley supporters as Galbley come in to the dressing room. 110 to 6 points, 13 points to 6, 7 points of a lead with the strong wheels, wind blown. Hopefully, Mike, the, the wind will fall down the second half. Hopefully, but I, I'm not too worried now because Galbley played very well in the first half and if they can bring that into the second half, they're going to have to change their style a little and play the game a bit shorter and the full right. forward line will have to come out. But they're playing exceptionally. I'm exceptionally impressed with Galbley. Yeah. All the backs, particularly the half-back line, they're playing marvellous football. Controlled football, the final man with the ball. This is right. great football from Galbley. That's great, Mike. So we're delighted to see it. At this stage, anyhow, we're very optimistic about how Galbley are going to get on, but there's still the second half to come. And... Um, so, thanks very much, Mike, for your comments. And as I say, we're, we're quite optimistic at this stage. And as I say, most of the whole of the team has been playing quite well. Maybe the full back line are under a bit of pressure already. Yes, right. I, I'd be worried about, about the, the, this full forward, every field full forward. They're obviously going to play him a lot in the second half as well. And with the wind and the back, they're probably going to kick everything down to him. But right. I still think our half back line, I think we'll cope with them very well. Cool. Yeah, Galbi have amazed me. They're playing great football. Yes. Really intelligent football, short, finding their man with their passes. And they need only play the ball to Timmy Cummins and they'll get scores. It's yeah, great, the, it's great stuff. The whole lot of the forwards are playing quite well, actually. Danny Farrell, Johnny Cummins, uh, uh, Jamie Morrissey, like, and then it's particularly the half-hour line, like, yeah, you know? They're, they're looking up to him and they're finding the man. They're not wasting ball, and it's great to see it. Right. Uh, when I was playing down through the years, I was always trying to get across the guys, look up, support the guy on the ball, give a pass if you're in trouble, and they're, doing, they're playing brilliant football today. That's Credit cool. goes to their trainer and selectors and everything, but they're playing great football. Right. So I'm looking forward to the second half. Now, I think, we, I think we, we'll do it. Yeah. We have a good score up. And if I, I was we'll to pick out anybody there, I would say Fergal Finn and young lad, like, He's having a great he's game. Having, there. He's having a great game, and, and young Begley, uh, Kieran Begley, is at the, right, the wing back. He's having yeah. a great game. He's very fast, and, he, and he's a good footballer. He's right. good skill. Would you, as you said before, Mike, you hadn't seen Galbley playing, but I, anybody has seen Galbley playing this year, like would pick out as Kieran Begley as maybe you know what I mean, the find of the year sort of thing. Like he's a grand, he's small, but he has part, particip uh, participation. He knows when to challenge his yeah. men and everything, close them down. Well, that comes obviously from playing hurling at the level he's played it at, at, at school right, level yeah. and everything. He's you a know, gifted he athlete. The, he captained the St. Coleman's team mm. to win the Hearty. Yeah. And he wasn't captain of the St. Coleman's team for nothing like that. No, you know? no, he's a very fit jungler, but he's got great football skill. I, I, I'm absolutely amazed the guy's playing exceptionally well, you know. Right. He's fast and he's, he's able to use the ball as well as his speed, you know. Yeah. It's, it's just, I've got to be using the ball very intelligently. I think in the second half, if they can keep that, it's going to be more difficult now against the wind. They're going to have to play the game a little bit shorter right. because you won't be able to play long ball. But I, I think, again, Timmy Cummins is going to be the key for it because keep feeding him. I don't care if he keeps propping up out here, just keep feeding him and he'll work the ball in. Good. I, I think Abbey Field, if anything, will get frustrated in the second half, I think, right. with the win because our, our guys have put it up to them. Right. And they're going in worried because, uh, as you said earlier on, the Abbey Field selectors are going up and down there and they don't know what to do. Right. So I think they're shell-shocked. Right. Okay, thanks very much, Mike. Ball is thrown in now to start to the second half and kicked by, high by the Vassy Abbey Field of a sub on there, number 20. Mike McGrath gets it here in front of us. Kicks the ball, a good one up along the side. Booted out there by number two. Two subs on for Abbey Field, actually. Number 24 and 20. Fergal Finnan goes solo run up now, about on the 40 meter line. Hits it out to Timmy Cummins. Timmy kicks it over the bar. Another great point from Timmy Cummins. Number 20, Paul Scannon, and number 24, Gerard Hartness. Two subs on by Abbey Field at half time. That's surely panic by the Abbey Field selectors, bring on two subs at half time at this stage. Abbey Field goalkeeper now kicking it out. Landing right in the centre of the field. Goes past Mike McGrath there. Fergal Finn comes towards it. Uh, caught again by Fergal. Holds it. Kicks it. With it. Screws over across the field. Timmy Cummins going forward for back now in the Galbi half back line. Timmy comes all on across the middle. Kicks it out towards this side towards Fergal Finn and grabbed by Fergal. Slips. Fergal gets up. Goes on the solo run forward. Fisted to Mike McGrath. Mike hits it in. Breaks off a of Shami Morrison. Corner forward coming across. Free given there against the Abbey Fieldman. 
a foul in Shami Morrissey. Shami's bending down with his head, got a crack in the head at that stage. 30 yards out now, right in, center, right in the centre of the goals. Johnny stands now just over the ball and plays it, coming back. This could be another important point now for Galbley. Johnny stands sideways, practically centre ways on the goals, but hitting it straight into the... Johnny stabs it right over the goal. Another point for Galbley. About two minutes gone now, four. 18 minutes past four. So I stopped at about 16 minutes past four. Two great points. A green, a great start now in the second half. Gal Galbley 112 to 16. Nine points up now at this stage. Falls and breaks off the Abbey Fieldman in the centre of the field. Patrick Ryan hits it towards Fergal Finnan. And Fergal is fouled there. Pulled. <laughs> Number 12 hit hit Jarrah Crow box there. Number 12 is going to be booked at this stage. Stupid there by Mirish McElligot. The corner for the half forward for Abbey Field. Fergal runs forward, kicks it, goes more over towards the right, out towards Danny Fell, breaks off at Danny's hand. Back Derry Quirk, the full back, picks it up. He fists pass it on to number four, who's tripped there by Jamie Morrissey. Willie Mahoney, he's very busy with the book now at the moment. He's calling in Shamie and booking him as well. So Gerard O'Connor, the cornerback, taking it now out about 40 yards. Left foot up along the sideline at the other side. Broken down there by John Kiley. Breaks out the Abbey Fieldman, kicks it off the ground. A good long one in towards the goals. The ball breaks there for Tom Kinnan. Tom goes down, picks it up, moves forward, kicks it with his right leg across the field. A grab there by number 14. De 24. De That's Danaher, the rugby player, is after being brought on. A free there for Abbey Field, about 25 yards out. <laughs> Philip Danaher is after coming in now on, on the, at half time. So we get a free there for uh, Abbey Field now, just outside the. 20 metre line, about 21 yards out. Fitzgerald, the centre forward. Tom Fitzgerald taking it with the left leg. He kicks it over the bear. So it's seven pints, 112 to seven pints. 15 pints to seven. Eight pints in it now. Scully kicks it out towards this side, it slips over. Picked up by Fergal Finnan. Fergal kicks it up along an all one up. Well, just hops, look at there for number seven, Debbie Finnan. Left footed down the middle. Watch the hop here. Hops over to number 12. Number 12 hits it across the Jared Cruz men. And hits it over the bear. Lucky escape there, Mike. Very lucky. Goal looked on there, didn't it? Well, that's the way they're going to play the ball up the middle, as I said it in the first half to McGill. They're just going to keep putting it up the middle. Great start by Galby. Two points. Invaluable right, scores. They were invaluable scores. Invaluable yeah, scores, sort of, Tim. I think sort of, they'll count in the very end. Right, they the have, end, they could win it for us. Right, so it means that those two points have only brought Happy Field back again to where they were at Ab half time. Ab absolutely. Seven fine. points in it. Seven points in it. Yeah. Out to the centre of the field. Great catch there by Colin Finnan. Colin Kicks it a high one, trying to kick it a small bit up in the air. Up towards Timmy Cummins, it rocks down from Timmy Cummins with John Kiley going towards it now. The falls down there, picked up by free for Galbley. John Kiley to take the free now, is going to take it from his hands. He kicks it up towards the side, towards Timmy Cummins. Timmy Cummins, it. and uh, foul there, but the ball goes forward towards the, the heavy field forward. He kicks a high ball there. That's over the bear. Timmy Cummins down injured over on the far side. So I feel after getting three quick pints now, I see Tom Flynn issuing 
directions there to Colin Finnan to get in front of Danaher. See Joe Fahey here on the sideline now is going to come in as a sub, getting ready to come in as a sub. And Amy Morris is walk, warming up as well. Joe Fahey is actually going in, going across the field. So he's handing his, he's handing his name now to Willie Mahoney. Cummins is a big loss to Galvin now if he has to come off the field. His Timmy, I think, is going to go in full forward and let Jamie Morrissey out. Uh, Gerald Fahey now has gone in corner back. It's a bit of a, 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 bit of a blow there for Galvin, but the ball comes across, got by number six, free for Abbey Field, hits the fast one. Well Hi, intercepted Mike. by Mike McGrath there. Picked up by number eight, or down, or number six. Number 12, well blocked down, a great block down by Kieran Begley there. Brilliant by Kieran. Brilliant by Kieran Begley there, the low ball up along the wing. The ball is... Galbley want to story up now, Mark up tight at this stage. This is a vital stage. Philip Danaher now going to take the free out here in the centre field, just out near the sideline. Kicks it low, along the ground. Bounces off. Begley again and boots the ball across. The great ball over to Shami Morrissey. Shami Morrissey foul there. Kicks it up to us. Oh, bad free there from, from uh, bad interception there. The, out uh, down to the half back line. They're kicking the ball low up the middle now. Abby Fela. McGill has it out. Kicks out towards the side. Picked up by the forward there. The box it into number 13. Who kicks it over the bar. No, Mike, what do you think? Very, very worrying. Abby Fielder picking off their scores at reg regularity now. You know, it's Timmy Cummins is kind of injured. He's calling to the sideline. That doesn't all go well. He's the best man we have to play half forward midfield. Forward now, actually. Shami Morrissey's gone out in the half line. I see Liamie Morrissey coming in. We need players to take the ball in from half forward midfield. And Timmy so far ha has been proven very successful at it. Aiden Crew, Aiden Crew maybe might fill in now and, and do the business for us. Right. But, but Timmy certainly doesn't look comfortable. 10 points to 1, 12, 5 points in the Five points stage. in the difference. Abbey Field coming into it quite a lot now. They're scoring fairly regularly. Uh, Caught again in the centre field there by number 9. And free in by... He's going to take it off his hand. A high one in now, toss, lobbing out there towards the side. Breaks off at Tom Quinn and kicks the ball across. Great save by John Scully out over the sideline. Brilliant save by John Scully in the goals. Kicked the ball right across and John Scully just dived and pammed it out over the end line for a 50. Very worrying time now for Galbley at this stage. So they're under severe pressure at the moment. Mimi Morrissey now has gone in full forward and uh, Tim Cummins has gone out corner forward. He's still down on the ground, being attended to by Eddie Ryan. This 45 now been taken by number 13, Padraig O'Donnell. Kicks a high one in across towards the broken off to every field player there. Got out by Jer Carew, kicked out towards the sideline. Philip Dennis running out towards it, right on the sideline, the far side. He sets himself, kicks a huge high ball in across. Broken down inside, a goal for Abbey Field by number 20, Todd Scanlon. Disaster there for Galbi at this stage, the lead now dropped down to two points. So it's really been put up to Galbi now at this stage. Kicked by John Scully out into the centre of the field. Well, well caught by Fergal Finnan there. Fergal pulled down a free, kicks a long one up towards the corner. Can we come and man there came out in front and kicks it down towards the side, intercepted by John Kiley. John runs up the wing. John hops it there out towards the side and kicks it left footed across. Right, caught there by number five. Free from where the ball landed there. So Galway really want to stay tight on their men, right up against them now, not let them an inch from them. Kicks a high one down the middle. Coming towards 
Broken there, well done by Johnny Dunn. Great ball by Johnny Dunn. Mike McGrath has it, kicks it low and towards Aidan Carew. We'll depend on Aidan to come into it now. A high ball in towards Liam Morrissey. Breaking off there and broken out towards the side. Kick down high again, broken by John Kiley. Free there against it, Galbraith. The ball put down. Number 12 loose here on this side. Kicks a high one up in the air. Caught by number 11 out there in the... Out to number... Well blocked down by Galbraith there. Great break by Galbraith. The ball out towards us, rolls out over the end line there. 45 for Abbey Field. Galbraith in severe, severe pressure now, Mike. Yeah, it's, an, it's very exciting. Abbey Field are really turning the screw. They're piling on the pressure. They're, we're, we're kicking, we've kicked two very high balls into, into our full forward line half. Hour. Really no good against the wind. We've got to work the ball in. It's, it's hard to say. It's easy, it's easy to talk about it up here, but uh, we're under pressure because of the wind mainly, and Abbey Field have really got their tails up. Right. It's, it's kind of surviving the fittest to the end now, really. It's 45 been taken out from a way out, and it's actually gone over the bar, so the the lead down to one point now, 112 to 111. Galbraith under severe pressure now at this stage. And uh, time in the second half, uh, 28, has uh, 12 minutes gone. So they're really going to have to have to pull something out extra out now if they're going to, because they feel they've started back in the last seven or eight minutes and have really gone to it. Fergal Finnan coming towards it now, picks it up, just very near the sideline. Fergal got it, it's all a run. Fist pass it on to Aiden Carew, Aiden goes forward now, Philip Danaher comes in on top of him. And the ball back to Fergal Finnan. Colin Finnan now fouled. Well played there by Colin Finnan. Great play that time there by Colin Finnan under severe pressure. So John Cummins now has a free about 35, 45 yards out, right in front of it again, but he's kicking it straight into the breeze at this stage. Timmy is shouting at him to kick it, kick it high, kick it over the bar. This is a tough one for Johnny now. Bit more pressure on him now, there's only a pint in it. Johnny stabs a beautiful pint from John Cummins. That's a very vital point there now for John Cummins. Very good score, Tim, because the, the, the ball was going against us there for a couple of scores, so that might bring us back into it. A very good score. Two points up again, so that's a bit of a breather now for Galbraith. Give him a chance. They were under tremendous avalanche of, of pressure there from Abbey Field. who really turned on the stops. The goalie kicks out the ball. Goes through a shame. Danaher has it again in the centre of the field. Danaher's made an awful difference since he came in. The ball breaks there. Cut by John Dunn. 15 fast, and the ball goes wide. Fast free taken there by every field. Missed the sit and score, yeah. Yeah, every field actually threw away a score. They're trying to go for this goal to get the lead, I said, and took a fast one there. But the ball went flying in and wide. John Scully kicks it. A great kick now from John again, out, right out towards the centre. The ball breaks there. Grabbed by Mike McGrath. Mike is coming, coming forward there. Hits it there towards Aiden Crow. Well played, Aiden, at this stage. The ball gets in. Got by Patrick Ryan. Patrick, good one up the middle now by Patrick Ryan. The ball breaks out there. Leamy Morrissey goes out for it. Off, breaks off a shame. Leamy picks it up. If it, gives it to John Kiley. John is going forward. All hits a shot on there at that stage and uh, intercepted by um, Abbey Field. Number 12 has it out here now, out in front of us. He kicks it high down this wing, coming towards the side. Tom, Tom Quinlan breaks off a Tom and out over the sideline. Sideline ball now here from Abbey Field. Kicks it in fast in towards McGill. Going towards the side. Great interception there again by Kieran Begley. Brilliant by Kieran Begley again. Picked up by Tom Quinlan. Tom comes out, fouled down near the end line there. Actually, rugby tackled. That was a brilliant interception again by Kieran Begley. Saved the day again. Kieran is, is winded after that. He's been, uh, bent up, he's, he's breathless after that. That was a tremendous tackle there by Kieran Begley. So we did all now as we uh, get the breather. I see Tim Hummus is back on the field again above Mike. He's receiving attention there the whole time. 
But you never know if Timmy gets the ball, what he can do. Kick by Tom Quinlan, now broke towards the centre. Grabbed by John Kiley. The fist pass it on to Patrick Ryan, but uh, Willie Mahoney blows for a free. Caught by John Kiley, kicks it out this way towards Fergal Finnan. Fergal going on the solar run up the wing. Kicks it left legged in towards Leamy Morrissey. Leamy has it now. Going across the centre. Hits it with his left foot up along the side towards Timmy Cummins. Timmy has it now. Hits it into Morrissey. Morrissey on towards Aidan Peru. Aidan, a breaks off of Aidan there. And out. The ball kicked out now towards the side. Got again by John Kiley. Gabby Field have it up, coming up towards the wing. The ball out again for McGill. Free now just outside the far at the 40 metre line for Abbey Field over on the far side. This free now from Abbey Field just inside the 40 metre line. 45 metre line. 111 to 113. Think, Tim, should bring the ball is lobbing now, coming out small because the side here. Fielded by out to number 20. He kicks the ball over the bar. Point there by Paul Scallon, who come on as a sub. Down to a pint lead now again at this stage. Sure, they have to try and move Timmy Cummins out, um, whatever way shape he's in. He's, he's playing all purpose in the forward line. He's got to the and a half forward line, Tim, I think, you know. Right, he, yeah. He's wasting his time in there. He'd be better off outside. He's but a the ball man. is not coming as far as him anyhow. No, like. no, no, he's a danger man. He should be brought right, out. Yeah. He's wasting there. Kicked in again now by Abbey Field, coming towards the goal. The ball hops over. John Scully comes out, falls out, free out by John Scully, a great save again by John Scully, but John goes down injured after the after that. So John Scully receiving attention now. Eighteen minutes gone now in the second half, 12 minutes to go. Galway down to one pint lead at this stage and playing into a storm wind. The wind has hardly died down at all, staying strong the whole time. Got cloudy now overhead, but it's still fine, no rain. What surprises me about the game, Tim, is how fast Abbey Field came into it in the second half. In, in, in 10 minutes, they had about seven scores. Right. They were asleep in the first half, obviously, but I'm amazed at how fast they came into yeah, it. I suppose Danahan made a big difference when he came on. Yeah, I think so. And I'm uh, surprising they held him off for so long that they didn't start him. Right. Because he's playing quite well, and uh, he seems to be getting ball into the forwards. Right, yeah. But I, I'm just amazed at how fast they came into the game. Five minutes, ten minutes, they had seven points in the, seven scores on the board. Right, to kick out now by John Scully. Well, it's a free, actually, from the free at the time he was fouled there, clearing the ball. It broke down there. It's caught this time by Aidan Carew. Well held by Aidan this time. He kicks the one up the middle. It's a good kick this time to Patrick Ryan. Patrick has been tackled. Johnny Cummins coming out to take the free. I suppose Galbier is well able to slow the game down now as much as they can at this stage and try, try and calm it down because Abbey Fear want to keep it moving. Johnny taking the free now, it's out about 60 yards or so out from the goal, so I no hope it's going to pint up his own from this, but he kicks a great one in, lobbing towards the square. The ball breaks inside there, out to Aidan Carew. Aidan hits it across to Shamey Morrison. Shamey's kick is blocked down. The ball breaks out again. He kicked out towards, coming out now towards Mike McGrath kicks it, it spins off inside Fergal Finn in there. Fergal kicks a left one, comes in, screws in towards the goalie. The goalie catches inside, hits it out to number four, the corner back. Coming out this one, clear the highway down towards the center. Coming towards John Kiley. John fields it, keeps the left foot, side footed over to Shamey Morrissey. Shamey out to Timmy Cummins now at this stage. And the ball broken off there from Timmy Cummins. On to Denner again now. On the the ball falls down there, he fists passes it back. 
And we feel doing a lot of face passing at this stage. Comes across the middle, comes to us, Kieran Begley. Kieran picks it up and kicks a good one right over across to Shami Morrissey. Shami breaks off his hand and out over the sideline. Tell me one to coming back again to us. Kieran Begley again in the centre. Kieran coming out with it now and it's all around. Kicks it up along the middle. Beautiful ball to Shami Morrissey. Shami drops it. And he kicked out again from the centre. It was, it was uh, Ger Caroon. The ball kicked out towards the sideline. Willie Mahoney giving a feed there to Abbey Field. Philip Danaher now is going to take the free off the ground. Kicks it low up along the middle. Comes to John Kiley. John feels it. He passed it to Fergal Finnan. Or Colin Finnan. Colin has gone the solo run up along the far side. Out towards the right sideline. Kicks a low one in towards Leamy Morrissey. Leamy picks it up. Hits side, foots it across, hits it to his brother Shamey. Shamey has it now on the 45 metre line. Kicks him on the cross the field, coming towards Fergal Finn and Fergal coming out towards it. Fergal goes down on it, goes up along the sideline and it's all around. Going right now towards the corner flag. Coming in, kicks it with his right foot. A high one right across now, dropping about 20 yards out. At the break here comes to Aidan Carew. Aidan kicks a high ball. Great score by Aidan Carew at this stage. Galbraith lead back to two points. Oh my. That's a great score under pressure, Anthony. He took that score very well. He was, he was going backwards. I, I thought the Fergal Finn did tremendous work there. On tremendous the work. Minute. He held the ball up and he waited for, for Lance to get into position. But a great score by Aidan Crew. Right. He, was, he, was, uh, he was unbalanced. He took it falling backwards. A great point. Ooh. We're two points ahead now. This could, this, this could settle us down. Right. John Kiley out again to it. John is playing well now at the half back and goes forward there. It breaks to Leamy Morrissey. Leamy has it. He fists it to John Kiley. John has it. He fists it out to us. Aidan Crew. Uh, he first passed it into again to Amy Morrissey. Out towards Timmy Cummins out on the side. Timmy is cutting in there. The ball falls down from him. He, he knocks it back into Johnny. Johnny hits it to Mike McGrath. Mike going forward there. Yes. Goal by Mike McGrath. Goal, 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 goal. Goal. Oh my. Great goal. Fantastic football. Played around with the ball. Held it up for four or five passes. And Mick McGrath got a great goal. He put the head down and he went for it. A great goal. Fantastic score, lads. This has just put us well back into the match now. Now it's up to Abbey Field. The pressure's back on Abbey Field. We're now five, five points ahead, is it? Five points. Five points. A very high score in game. Galbley has scored two goals and 14 points, which would win most matches. Brilliant field there by Patrick right in the centre field. Patrick goes forward, boots it in. Knocked there by the corner back. Timmy's trying to struggle with him. Holds on to him and he fouls him. And picks it over the bar. But Timmy's really gone down at this stage. Actually, that foul, I think Galbraith should do a lot of that fouling back there on, the, on their full back line. Well, because uh, it's actually better because... Uh, well, absolutely. It slows way down a little and also it's away from the danger zone, you know, because, I mean, is, they've got yeah, to work the ball way down the field actually, again. Actually, I, I saw Mead win, uh, win in the semi-final of Nall Island one over 14 minutes and they just kept fouling when they got the ball up because you have actually an extra man when the free comes out, yeah. like, you know? It takes the momentum away from it's every It's actually field. an advantage to the team that's fouling, yes, actually. absolutely. So Timmy is down now again, he's back up. We don't know whether he's going to be substituted or not at this stage. 24 minutes gone now at this stage. The free taken by Abbey Field, a high one kicked up now. Coming back again, John Kiley's coming across towards it. It breaks over the whole lot of them. Kieran Begley going back into it. Kieran side kicks it out. Whips it out towards that. Kieran has gone down. I think Kieran has, has been playing brilliant now. Brilliant in the second half when they're under pressure and leaves the ball down. Gerald Fahey is going to place it and take it off, take it from the ground. Six minutes, five or six minutes left in it now and Galbraith five points up at this stage. If they can slow down the play now and keep holding on to the ball and, and the ball breaks there off the Abbey Fieldman, right on the sideline. Comes to us, Willie Mahoney comes in now, it's going to hop the ball. Bit of a schmazz right in front of us here. He's going to throw the ball up. The ball breaks right into Mike McGrath's hand. Mike kicks it up along the wing. Coming towards Johnny Cummins there. Johnny, Johnny, well played by Johnny Cummins there. Johnny goes down, lies down and the Johnny injured. John Wallace is doing a tango on the sideline down there. He's getting very excited. Another sub coming in for Galway, Paul Ryan. Paul, Paul Ryan. 22 coming in for Galway at this stage. Uh, Come Timmy Cummins coming off now. Sad to see that. Well, he's getting a big hand from the crowd. Very sad to see Timmy coming off. 
Johnny's taking the free now right here on the 65 metre line. Kicks it up along. Hops in. Well, well filled by Aidan Carew. Aidan going forward. Hits it to Leamy Morrissey. Leamy's going to solo run. Buck hits it in. Foot pass it into Paul Ryan. Paul has it. Kicks it left footed. A great point by Paul Ryan. Brilliant point by Paul Ryan at this stage. Good. Uh, 26 minutes gone now, four minutes on the clock, but it'll probably be a few minutes. John Kiley going to solo run. Hold on to it, John. John is fouled there now, 35 metres out. Let, let the ball, Look, delay the play now. John was going to take a fast one there, but he decided better. I said Johnny Cummins let a roar at him there. Johnny plays in the ball now. The more time he delays with this, even if it goes wide himself at this stage, it won't make an awful difference. But if it does, he'll actually have seven points of a lead. So Johnny's taking it well out to the side now, hitting it into straight into the breeze nearly at this stage. Very hard one to put over, but Johnny has been doing very well so far today. Coming up towards it now, Johnny is... Yes. Right over the bear. No, Mike, what do you think? That's an unbelievable comeback by Galbley. That puts us, what, six points up, is it? Seven points up. up. Abbey Field need three, two goals to beat us, I can't see him getting it. Fabulous performance by Galbley. Sad to see Timmy going off, but he's played a, a super match. But the resilience of Galbley... 22 points to 15 at this stage now, with about three or four minutes left. The ball breaks there to Abbey Field forward. And number 12 kicks it across to a loose man about out on the 50 metre line. He's going solo run through. Well held by Fergal Finnan. Into John Scully. John Scully saves it and the goals. He fists it out to John Dunn. John going out to hits a low one up along the wing. Comes towards Aidan Crew. Breaks off the tomb right on the sideline now by picked up by the Abbey Fieldman. Under 45 meter. Hits a huge five ball in. Picked up by John Scully again. John saves the day again. Kicks it out. There's fisty cuffs now inside in the square. This is sold Galbley down to the ground now, Mike. This is what Galbley want, really, at this stage. What do you think, Mike? This is unbelievable stuff. I, I was following the play there, Tim. I, I didn't see what was happening. I think somebody, somebody took a swipe at John Dunn. But it, at, at this stage, it, it suits Galbley down to the ground, actually. The referee, Willie Mahan, is taken out his book. We were never a team to, to, yeah. to step back from a bit of rough and tumble anyway. Um, it always kind of moved the wise a little. So this is really in our favour now. Every field are playing up, up our street. Now, this, this, this is certainly, I, I'd say the match is over now. We've got it. I think we have him. Great save by John Scully. One minute on the clock now, actually. One minute of, of actual playing time on the clock. He probably played two or three minutes overtime. The referee, uh, I think, booked Johnny Dunn there, and uh, he's calling over number 11, Pat Fitzgerald, Tom Fitzgerald, the centre forward, and he's actually been booked as well. Now, we don't know whether there was fist flying there, but he didn't actually send anybody off. He's, he's left him on, he's just booked him. Right, uh, he's going to throw the ball up now, about uh, 25 yards out from the Galbley goals. 46, the actual time is up now. The ball breaks there. Caught again by Fergal Finnan. Free up by Galbley now. Pull it down. Gerald Fahey now plays in the ball. Gerald knows what to do at this stage. No hurry. That's it. Step back from it. Take your time. Into injury time now, Mike. It's a fabulous. I can't believe it. I just can't. A huge ball up there. Breaks to Shemi Morrissey, knocked down there. John Kiley is in, comes across the centre. Danher has it. He fits it on to number 12. Number 12 is going through the minute. And, nice. and he kicks it over the bar. Pint for Abbey Field. Great shoulder again there by uh, uh, Kieran Begley. Two goals in it. Two goals in it. 2.16 to 1.13. 22 pints to. I see Mike McGrath limping now there in the centre field as well. All Galbley have to do now is hold the ball at this stage. Get onto it and hold it. Breaks past Patrick Rydell. Young Begley comes again. Lovely foot pass by Begley. Limi Morrissey comes in. The ball is foot passed down. Comes to Mike McGrath. Mike, the ball breaks. Fergal Finnan has it in the centre of the field. He hits it on to 
anywhere. Aidan Carew, Aidan hits him on the cross, but lucky break for Galbi there. Paul Ryan has it now. Hits it into Limi Morrissey. Limi has it. Shoot. Kicks the low ball in towards the goal. Yes. And it boxed into the net. Brilliant goal. Fergal Finnan. Brilliant. The crowd are inside in the pitch at this stage. The ball is hit out. Limi Morrissey has it now. Out it. Hits it on to Patrick Ryan. Patrick has it. Out in the centre. Kicks it across to, kicks it across to Shami Morrissey. Out the side, Shami. Out the side. Out to Johnny Cummins. Johnny has it about 25 yards out. Moves forward. Kicks a huge high ball. Mention. In over the bar. 3.17 to 1.13 at this stage. And we're now gone two minutes into extra time. All the Galbi crowd down on the sideline now here, Jim. Ready to invade the pitch. All over. History is made. Oh, Mike. Unbelievable finish by Galbi, Tim. I really thought 10 minutes into the second half we were gone. Abbey Field had seven scores on the board to our none. A fabulous finish by Galbi. Their, their fitness, they played super ball into the wind, even with the loss of Timmy Cummins. Absol it's it's emotional, an emotional day for Galbi. I'm delighted for all the lads. Just brilliant football. Brilliant stuff. Just had to describe it. Yeah.
three cheers. Give him. to be asking you to say a few words after but uh, you're after making a great speech there and accepting the cup but why would you like to say now just for this video that we're making for the people of Galbally? We trained, we prepared physically, mentally for the last four or five months and it showed it out there today on the field. They played, when they were down they came back, that was fitness, it showed it. Right, we thought after about ten minutes of the second half that your goose was cold like, you know, but you showed tremendous spirit. It definitely was the greatest display ever, in my estimation anyway, by Galway team. The, the great scores that you got and everything. They were absolutely outstanding. They made the change on the side and did everything right today, they did. Good. It showed the, the training, that's all it is, the training. Right. We trained and we were prepared. You were fit as fit We were, yeah. We trained and we were prepared. Right, that's thanks very much now, Jared. I know you were. Okay, now, Johnny, how are you now just after the, the, we get in the cup and that? Overjoyed, Tim. Overjoyed. I thought it would never happen. Oh, well, I'm delighted for you, Johnny. I'm delighted for all the, all the senior players in the team. I think it's a great boost for Galbi football. Like, and you were brilliant today. Like, we just can't describe it. We were up on top there watching you. But, and you were, uh, you were on the, the star man at Sam McGill. What did you think? I thought... I thought in the second half when they came within two points of us, right. I thought we were in trouble because he was giving me the run around. Right. But our half back line, midfield, and our forwards came into the game. They took the game by the scuff of the neck and they got the scores when I it needed. I myself, John, you played him better in the second half than you did in the first half. Like you were in for the break of the ball, you were close in with him, and actually he got a few frees there, I thought, which were kind of dicey, you know what I mean? Well, at half time, the boys told me, Tom Flynn especially told me, I was giving him too much space, I anticipate his run if I could. Right. And I tried to go with him out in front of him, yeah. be with him, and he got a few frees all right. Some of them are maybe dicey decisions, but at least they didn't score goals out of it. All right, chair. And as I say, with the, with the wind they went within a couple of pints here there in the, early in the second half, we thought actually about we thought we were getting very, very worried. You could sense it on the field evening, but you could, you could sense that we were in trouble. I, I thought myself we were in trouble. But fair play to the young players, especially the half-back line. They were outstanding, and they took us out of the fire. I, 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 you took the words out of my hand there. I thought the young players, Fergal Finn and Gaden Begley, John Kiley, those, they, yes. they really, they, they forgot about that it was a county championship, and they went out and played their game. Like, they didn't show any nerves. Like. No nerves, no nerves. And I said it during the week. That's why I was quietly confident. The young lads, all the team even, yes. they were actually looking forward to today's game. And when you, can, when you can sense the team looking forward to a county final, then you can be confident. That's great. I'm delighted. And thanks very much, Noel Thank we'll you, see, Tim. We'll see you later on. We'll see you later. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you.
Beautiful. Have yeah. football. Try it. Very and have you feel, of course, played football as Probably, well, like which yes. attitude? Like. Yes. Maybe the wind is it ruined it a small bit, like just in time to make it a bit too uh, one sided sort of thing. It's blown straight yes. down the beach. I thought it had more effect than the minor match. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought it eased down a bit. And it probably did, yeah. yeah. That's why we were anxious. We were up on top here looking down on it. We well, I, I was up in the Mackey stand for the, right. for the first time. We were anxious to get we would play with the wind that it might die down. I, I hope they would have the wind. Right, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, made a great comeback in the second half. Wonderful. Some right. wonderful footballers in Galway. Right. And must be it must be great memory now for you. I mean, after all the years you played with Galway and that Padre and yourself and that, like yes. to see the senior championship coming to Galway after that. Uh, Padre and myself were with the first miners out of Galilee on the Limerick team. Way back in the 30s? 37. 37. And you I, played with the county? We did, yes. Right. We were the first out of Galilee right. with the, the so Limerick team. So today is a great Oh, memory. wonderful. I couldn't have missed it. Right. I had a lot of obstacles to get here, but right. I, I'm delighted and proud to be here. I We're all delighted. Yeah. And thanks very much, Pedro. Thanks. Yeah. Thank thanks you. Sir. We're just talking to Pedro Cousin now. Pedro, I suppose at this stage you're nearly speechless like the rest of us. Like it, it, it's a great memory, isn't it? I was an absolutely speechless. Yeah. And I waited. It was my life ambition. And I'm associated with Galilee for the past 60 years. Right. It was my life ambition to win a single county title. And I said to the lads going out, the players, that was the best team that ever left Galway. Are you just saying that after the last match tonight to beat Hospital? I said, I said it. I said that. I think they proved it today, Pedro. They like proved it today, and I had all the, I said I had all the dependents on the world. I depended on that team. Right. I said they were the best team that ever left Galway. I said it after winning the semi final, and I said, and they're going out in the field today, I said, you're the best team that ever left. I have every dependence on you right. to win the county title. Right. And I said I'd be above alongside the captain, right. the presentation of the cup. That's right. Because there was another man, I forgot to mention him inside in the dressing room. Yes. And that was Paddy Ryan. Yeah. The two of us, Paddy Ryan, the, right. our own Paddy, right. was, we were in the formation of the Galilee Club right. in 1930. You in told me that before, Pedro. That was a way back, and I was just just talking to Paddy Dwyer there. Yeah. He said you played county minor, but you were the first county minor to play with Galway way back. We were, we were, we were, we were. This we is were. a great day for Galway football, Pedro. This is a great day for me. I'm delighted. That's that's great. No. And thanks very much, Pedro. I suppose the match is over about 20 minutes or 25 minutes, and I'm just having a work here with Brian Chapman. And who was one of the selectors with Denny Ryan and John Wallace on the team. So, Brian, how are you feeling now? I am exhausted. You're exhausted. I think my voice is going. I shouted so much in that last 10 minutes, I thought we might lose the match right. when it got down to the, just a one-point deficit. Right. But now I'm a really happy man. I'm a proud man, Good. being the first time involved with the senior team. And we've involved uh, well, with the juniors. We were delighted. Year. Like I mean, say, uh, we were delighted to see you, you know, become a selector. Like it, it maybe was a small bit strange to see somebody coming <laughs> in. Well, that's that's, an, that's another see. thing. But I mean, it's a great thing for the parish and the community to see people coming in from outside and getting involved in the community. So well, what do they say, Cap? We're yeah. delighted for you as well, Brian. Like, and that you're going to have this happy memory. A lot of us served on on, on the, the Galway, you know, with football and put a lot into it. But uh, it was it's great to see people from outside coming into it. Well, they say Galway's the the town of the stranger. Uh, well, no, be, <laughs> well, nobody's proven. stranger, especially if they want to get involved in the community. Yeah. Uh, we're delighted for you, Brian, to see be able to. Mm. Serve on the, on the football selection and, and to celebrate with us. Well, we've got the uh, Munster now. Right. Okay, <laughs> thanks very much, Brian. Well, he was open the, open the pause near the video on the match, but we're, we're beginning to relax a small bit now. Tell oh, me, how, yeah. how do you feel now? After it was that? nerve wracking. I thought it never finished him, but when, we, oh. when Galbley came back and took a two goal lead, with about six or seven minutes left, I knew they had it won. Right. Uh, it was nerve wracking when Abbey Field came in a pint of him. Right. You know. And a tremendous display, though, Tommy. Well worth waiting 25 years for. A tremendous, show great character and courage. Right, yeah. Yes. As you say, we were up there as well, and at that stage we thought they were gone. Like, I mean, they yes. were under tremendous pressure. Desperate pressure, Tim, yes. Right. yes. And the whole lot of the team performed well. I thought some of the younger players played very well. For Excellent the, stuff. For, you know, for the for county senior final. They didn't show any nerves. Like, yes, you know? Kieran Begley and Colin Fennan, and to mention but a few. Yes, of course. Right. Yes. Thanks very much indeed, Tim. What's our thanks, Sam? We, we, we're good night to celebrate. The day is young yet, Tommy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Wieso jetzt schon? Junior spielen, das habt ihr. Wallace und Jack und andere Jungs. <laughs> Jim is turning the camera upstage now and we see Jay Jack O'Londigan, one of the great farmer players and, and Dean Wallace, I think those fellas are of my own vintage, like they were, they were the guys that I played when I was playing with Galbley. But uh, we're just having a word with Johnny Hyland, the chairman of the club. Johnny's a great year. Is, is this is your first year chairman, Johnny? First year chairman, yeah. Well, I'm delighted and well, congratulations. Yeah. We're, we're all delighted for you, Johnny. Just I know that. Good. Thanks yeah. very much, Tim. Yeah. God. What do you think of the boys today? Oh, God, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. They'll be talking about men of the match. There was 15 men of the match. I, I was delighted to see Mike right. McGrath getting it all right, lovely. As Mike said, he took it on behalf of the, of the team. Right. But it was unbelievable now, Tim. I suppose you were like, very excited there. Oh, God, there. Almighty, when the guy's goal went in, so... Yeah. I didn't know what I don't think, but I was, so, I know, I was so yeah. excited, yeah. But it's it was great, great for the lads, yeah. Especially for us that hadn't saw young True, now, yeah. to get a bit longer than yeah, two, yeah, like we yeah. thought we'd never see it like, you know. True, yeah. A lot of people around Galbi said this was a very quick summer, but I think it was all going from match to match to be the quick no yeah. it passed so quick like looking forward to the games right. the game i said even after the match again hospital if they improved a bit they could win the county so they nearly improved i say 100 percent they did, they did yeah. yeah from and the hospital game yeah, every yeah. field of course they, they played played football as well they did oh god watch. you couldn't take anything from every field just up near the finish that's table. nothing that's right. nothing no, no, no. But, um, and this would be a great boost to galbi especially younger players and young people that are playing the yeah game. quite true tim yeah the, yeah, yeah the, yeah, um, we wish the Jungers well now and hope they'll do well. Well, playing, I think, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, they're playing in, in Kilmalak, that's on tomorrow night. In and Kilmalak. In Kilmalak. Yeah. And I hope they win as well. That's another county title. We'll have to call so, back next uh, with the help of God, and that'll be nice, not the cake team. And then we might have good uh, nose at the tidy yeah. towns as well. Yeah, yeah. I hope all the best to win that too, Tim. I didn't right. think it. Tidy towns is well, a. Well, yeah. It's hard to think at the moment, Tim. It is, yeah. Thanks very much, Johnny. Right. Tim. Well, Thank, you. Tony. Thank you. So you were baptized. I was, yeah. came in, That's it? traditional. Congratulations to we didn't know about it. We're delighted for, you know, for the selectors and everybody involved with the club. And you know what I mean? We all feel the victory. Right, right. especially delighted for you. And I know you're putting off a lot into, into Galway, you know, since uh, you came around Galway. Well, yeah. congratulations. Now, so you're trying they to... were worth it. They, they were well worth it. Yeah. They were worth it. Great uh, Tommy Flynn said all along they had another gear. They showed it out there when it was wanted, they had it. Really, yeah. yeah they had it. really you made know. it for They were fit. The half back line really kept them going. They did, yeah. You know, they destroyed the half hour line. Part of an hour you know. really, they really yeah, did they destroy did. them in the last 10 minutes. They did, like, they did. Know? So it proved that they were fit. Right. Tommy Flynn doing a marvellous job with them. Yeah. You know, marvellous. So yourself now, I suppose, you're delighted. Oh, jeez. It? It's just sinking in. It's just, just beginning to sink in. You know. So, with great celebrations in yeah. Galbridge. There will be emotional scenes tonight. Emotional I would scenes. <laughs> I suppose there were fellas sing and quote poems and say what not that never really performed before. <laughs> they had teams before Galbridge, and I suppose they should have won counties. Right. But on the day, Yes. You must you must have it on the day. Right. They showed it today, especially the young fellas. Right. I thought that, yeah, I said, yeah. we especially mentioned that a couple of times yeah. already, especially yeah. the young fellas. So yeah. maybe we'll just have a word with Cairn Begley now, one of the younger players. Oh, OK, well. Cairn, sit up. I know you're tired now at this stage, Cairn, but we were up in the crow's nest looking down at you. There was a couple of times there in the second half. You made vital interceptions. And... Um, um, the younger players have been complimented like by everybody that was watching. You were one of them. And what did you do? How did you feel coming in? Were you a bit nervous now coming in? I know you played with Coleman's and that in, in, in oh, the yeah, party final. But... I was uh, very nervous now this morning. I was really right. nervous. Like, so I was hoping we'd play well and myself would play well and all. Like, so right. I knew we'd be nervous for a big match. Like. Right. But uh, during the game, I just saw the ball coming and I ran. Like, Right. Hope for the best, like. But you made a couple of vital interceptions. There was a couple of times there and I thought they were going through and you just threw yourself in and you put yeah. in your boot and stopped them. Well, like I, I remember there was one ball right there. Your man was coming through, number 12. Right. And I, I, just, I was just about to kick the ball, so I just threw myself on top of it, like. Right. So I was, it was lucky, like, but still, I suppose. But I think that's what takes to win a county championship, like, when you have that sort of hurt that you're diving in, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, well, the way, they, the way they wanted to play us, like, they were trying the overlap stuff, so we had to stop them before they got past us, like. Right, so yeah. Anyway, and all, like, we just had to pull them down or something, like. Right. But, like, like and if they came close enough to goals, they were going to score a goal, like. Right. So, so we had to stop them. They were all shining the overlap, like, so we had to stop them before they got around us, like. Right, yeah. And so. then they really died in the last five minutes, I'd oh, say, yeah. you know what I mean? They, you, you, you came back and... Yeah, they, they were kicking balls into the... Especially us at the half backs now. They kicked a lot of loose balls that the half backs cleaned up, like. They, they didn't pick out, out their the place open all, space, like. Yeah. like yeah. And they were half hours out, way, way out in the wing, like. Right. So they were not seen. Then myself and John Kyle, we had a great time. Right. We couldn't but clear the ball, like. I know what you mean, yeah. So, sure. thanks very much and congratulations, Kim. We're delighted. All right. So, thanks yeah. a lot between the Carew Brothers and 
uh, to tell you the truth, I, I just feel like sitting down because with the excitement in the match, I've nearly played, I nearly put as much energy. I've Jer here on, on this side and, and Aiden at the other side. So Aiden, how, how you feel now? I know you're still but trying I to put your clothes back on and whatnot. I'll tell you, I'm relieved. I tell you, it's, a, it's an amazing, I'm still amazed that we have actually won it. Right. I'm fucking it's hard to believe I'm it. I'm still shocked. No, you're still shocked. Uh, it's great though. You actually, did. magic day for Galbi. I mean, right. when are we going to do it again? Hopefully I, next year, but yeah. I never thought we'd do it actually. Just looking honest. at the game now, I, I, I thought it was in the last 10 minutes we were just saying that you wouldn't kind of but in the last 10 minutes you, you really came into the game in the last 10 minutes at a yeah. vital stage it was, kind of, it was kind of a difficult game, game to play you know especially on the centre because uh, because of the wind you know right uh, but I mean you know when when, it came, when the crum, the, crunch the, came the half back their centre half back what he was did good you think as, of him he was good as well I mean every every man did, on their team played very well you the know, DJ so. was a grand game of football it was like, a good you know? game I'd imagine but in the last 10 minutes I thought you got a couple of vital balls there like a distributor in the mouth yeah well that's what it's all about at the end right, of the day I suppose yeah. and I should have done far better earlier on but that's the way it no, goes, you know. When the chips were down, I think oh, yeah. you know what I mean. That you, you really put it into it. Well, at the end of the day, we're delighted. That's right. That's and that's it's great. What more can you say? We're we're thrilled for you, and thanks very much. No problem. No, over to us. You you were in the something like the Limerick Sea or Holland full back line. There was a lot of speculation about the Galway full back line. You know, would they hold out under this pressure of the heavy field full power line? So you came out well in the finish anyhow, John. Well, well, we did. I think um, they tried to play very direct football to the full forwards and. Um, yeah, that that worked for the ball into that, 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 the ball. That, that worked for a long time in the, in, in the first half, and then right. they, ch they changed the style. What about the men you were back to know, In the first half, I had a, a no difficulty. In the second half, they, they widened the play as much as they could, and he was giving me more, much more, tr much more trouble. Then they changed the style of play completely, and it seemed to beat them. Right. They had no, no sooner changed the style of play, and Galbi took control of the game again. Right. And I think that was possibly the losing of the game for them. But I feel Galbi just stood up, seemed to find some more. You know, they seem to have much more to show than than than, right. than, 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 than normal. And the extra. You know. Really, I, I, I just see Tom Flynn there now. I might have a word with Tom just before he go. He's packing up his bag in there. But he really, Tom Flynn, like, he deserves to win. Oh, without a doubt. He, had, he, he's, he made a great job Thanks of the team. Very much, I'm Thank you very much. I'm delighted to see you. Thank you very much. Good turn for you. Now, Tom. No, just, we're just having a word with the trainer and coach, Tom Flynn. But um, uh, we've interviewed a number of, uh, a good lot of people at this stage, Tom, and everybody has, has been praising you, and I'll have to praise you as well. It was the greatest expedition of football that Galbi have ever gave. Now, what, what do you feel now? I know you're a bit well, excited I'm, I'm, at this I'm, stage. I'm thrilled. I have my thoughts got together, but I know I'm that. thrilled. I knew they had it in them. I knew they had it in them. We yes. were down at Great Clamel Commercials, so I rate a very good team in the coming team in Tipperary again two weeks ago, and right. we ran him very, very... He only beat us by, uh, we'll say, a, a bad decision of a penalty. Right. We went down to Dune Bay last, last Sunday and played very, very well as well. Do you, and do you think those two matches were very important? Very, important. very important because it settled the likes of Colin Finnan at centre back, who had been up and down with us, and uh, he played on, he played on um, <coughs> Chris right. McGrath the first day, yeah. and he played on Killeen, who was the who was the top man in, in the four, in the four was with, with, with Clare at Munster level, and yeah. he played very, very well today again on Philip Danner. Yeah. I felt our half back line in the second half when we needed him produced the goods. They carried the ball up the field, worked the ball to our forwards, and I'd be feeling no answer to it. Right. So, as I say, you're, you're, you're really excited. This I am a trill. Like, well, and we're thrilled for you as well, Tom. Like, right. as I say, the tremendous players. The boys were very fit. Like, right. We well, thought they were gone after 10 minutes of part when the second half. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Well, they, they picked up the gear. I knew they had it in them. They did a lot of hard work, a lot of hard work, and I knew, I knew when we done cock, when we done cock, it to, to come good for us. And it just happened naturally in the second half. They were able to pick up the gear when they needed it. Right. Yeah. And we killed off the challenge. Right. So, Grant, thanks. Thank very you much. very much, lads. Okay. Right. 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 Thank you. We've can interpret after coming. I think all the boys have their, tog, uh, their pants on at this stage. You wouldn't know what you're seeing, you know, Kenan, at this stage. So close your eyes and save the words.
to uh, well, just I, create a hist historic occasion. Yeah, you, you, you've just put your finger on it. It is a historic occasion. Right. There aren't many times when you come home with a... Uh, the victory. With a victory, especially a victory of this kind. At this the first senior level. Right, yeah. Victory, and really it, it'll be great for the parish. A great for the great parish. For the parish. Yeah, yeah. So now we're looking forward to a, another first in, right. the, in the tidy town. I would just please God with, with, with hopefully something like that. And maybe okay. Sunday with the... With the right. Would you, the lads were great today, They were great today. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. Sure. And I mean... The real metal of the team was brought out there in the middle of the second half when things looked right. things looked grim, kind of, you know. Right. Things, the, the lead was slipping away down to a point, but they came back. That was and that goal, that that goal in the middle of the the first goal in the second half was the real clincher, I think. Right. So it was it was a, a great a great. Okay. A, a, a great sign of the team. A, right. the, the fight, heart. the fight, hard. Nothing soft there heart. today. Hard. Yeah. 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 And hard. Yes. Yeah. That's the way. Right. So it was right. great. Thanks very much. Okay. Okay. Just after talking to Tom Flynn, your coach and trainer there, yeah. and he was the one, he, you were the man he mentioned specifically, like, the, uh, I think myself, like, you know, he said that you, you were really the finding thing when you came back there centre-back, it's the pivot on the team, and you had a great game today centre-back, I know you're marking this Fitzgerald fella, and he is the real footballer that Abbey Field had, but how do you feel now, what, what did you think of the match actually? When, I don't know, the whole, the whole thing seems like a dream. The last second half seemed only like about 10 minutes. The whole thing went so quick. Like, right. It was unbelievable. I just couldn't believe when the final whistle went and we'd won by so much. Just well, that's believe. a great sign, actually, to know, you know what I mean, that you, when the final whistle, like, that you were really concentrating and on your game, like, you know what I mean? Because if you lapse in concentration yeah. and that, you know, you can... It's a bit worried there just at the start of the second half. They came back into it. They came, came back with a... We came back with two points. Johnny Cummins, scores, yeah. like, you know? Johnny Cummins got two points from Freeze and he settled us and Timmy Cummins kicked the point and right, just kept us going. How do you like playing our centre back? Like, Tom Flynn mentioned about playing against commercials and playing against Stone Big. And yeah. that, that was really the makings of you. Like, I, mean, I suppose, was, I don't It was know. a brave move by the gallery selectors to put you at centre back. Like, probably, yeah. Cause, probably it wasn't, like, working for me at wing forward. Like, when I was taking off the last two games, I was a bit disappointed and... They just tried me since they're back and it just things just seem to work out for me and it's just happy, you know. Definitely. Wouldn't be my favourite position now, but like I'm happy with it. All right, yeah. yeah. Well I, I mean you had a great game it's, and I mean as I say centre back is, is, is vital. Um No, oh, Fergal, I'm just after talking to your brother who, who was playing centre-back and you, you were on the half-hour line and uh, I thought to say, you, you, the goal that you got there in the first half, can you, have you any memories of that? Well, uh, as I remember, it's just making a diagonal and run from left half right. forward and uh, uh, Shane and had, you, had, you, had you on your head to go for the goal the whole time from the time you got the ball? Like, <laughs> no way. Yeah. <laughs> no, Shamey B got the ball and... Uh, yeah. I was just out in the corner. Right, he picked you, me out very you well. For the goals, like, you know what I mean? He, no, he picked me out. Kicked it, like, he picked me out very well, and right. I just turned my mind. I was. Had you the net in your mind, like when you when you were down ahead and kicked that ball away? Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> and the, the, I mean that was really that settled the Galway team, like you know what I mean. The goal, even though Abbey Field came back in the second half, the fact that that goal showed, I think it was a vital psychological thing for Galway. It showed that you could win it. Like it really rattled Abbey Field, like you know. Yeah. It shook them to the roots. Yeah. So thanks very much, Fergal. It's delighted for, for a young player like you to to play in the scene. A lot of players. <laughs> of my vintage and everything, tried to play and played, and a lot of players, good players and everything, but they never won a county event. Yeah. And we're delighted to see young players. It's going to be a great boost for the club. I will, yeah. yeah. And Definitely. thanks very much. Thanks, Andrew. Okay, right. Fergal, okay. thank you. So then it's beginning to sink in, I'd say. A lot yeah. of the players I met this city hasn't sank in with them yet. Like, you no, know, it hasn't so. sank in yet. To sink in What's your thoughts now just at the moment? Like? Uh, very hard game. Right. Great game. It was a great game down the end. The last 10 minutes was great. Right. Um, Mickey okay. McGrath. What was it like playing centre field now? What, what did you think of the Abbey Field centre field that they had with you know, say yourself and Mike? Like, you know? Uh, were they one of the best you came up against or what? Like, or they what were good. They were one of the best we came up against. They were very good. Right. They were a lot better than hospital centre field now the last night. Right. Much better than hospital centre field. Yeah. And um, the, the, how about your own performance now? What did you think? Uh, I was okay. Yeah. Just okay. Right. Yeah, but, um, I was happy. You were happy, and you I, happy, I mean, your 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 neighbor Mike <coughs> got many. Many the match. Yeah. Well, well I mean, you don't get many of the match because somebody else <laughs> on side you. If there's somebody else on side you're playing back. Like, no, you know, he's a great game. He's a great game. But um, we are delighted for you, um, Patrick. Like Thanks you so know, much, and, and uh, to get be a good tonight. Couple. There will be great cracking games crack tonight, chap. And and to come on the senior team. Uh, this is the first year in the. That's right, chap. That's right, chap. And. Um, 
You played Doon Began then, you played, were you playing the doors match? I was, yeah, uh, I was. We right, played so uh, commercials in one challenge, we played Doon Began last Sunday. Right. Have you any memory now of the match Doon and anything that, you know what I mean, that sticks out like? Mickey McGrath's goal. Mickey McGrath's goal. Mickey McGrath's goal. goal, left leg. Right. And what you said, we have him now, is we it? We have him now, yeah. Right, yeah. Turning, I thought this was a turning point of the match. Right. Do you play it with great confidence today? Were you nervous now or anything going into it? Like I was much? nervous now this morning, yeah. Right. But once the, once the, the game started... Yeah, once the game started, you'll be okay. Once you get it was a bit slippery out at the times, was it? It was a bit, yeah. a bit heavy, like, was it? A small bit, yeah. It wasn't bad, though. And what about the wind? Did the wind, you know what I mean, affect your yeah, feelings? Yeah, a small bit, yeah, as well. 